Every time I post an exit video talking about AMC, I get a lot of comments saying that who's exiting? We're never selling AMC stock. Oh guys, at some point, please sell AMC. Don't just hold it forever. Like we're here for the short squeeze. We want to be able to charge these hedge funds obscene amounts of money, but you have to realize the profit at some point or another. So don't be afraid to click the sell button when the time is right for you. And I see a lot of people promoting the idea that you want to sell on the way down after all of the short shares have been covered. We need to address this because it's it's not the best idea out there and we're going to talk about why. So of course, if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Alright, exit strategies for AMC. I just posted a video on it a couple days ago and uh, yes, although we may not be near the peak yet, this is a pivotal week, we can see a lot of good things come from it, so be prepared. But whether it happens this week, next week, or six months down the road, you need to be prepared. Do not get caught sleeping when AMC stock is peaking, please. Now, a lot of people are promoting the idea that you should sell AMC. We should be done with it when the squeeze is over. How do you know the squeeze is over? The short shares have been covered. Why is this a dangerous idea? Number one, what data, what real-time data are you going to be watching that is accurate as to the short shares being covered? If you answered Ortex, Ortex is an estimate, okay? <laughs> what are estimates, right? They're assumptions. What happens when you assume something? Exactly. So if you're using Ortex's data, if you believe in Ortex's data, I don't have a problem with it, guys. I, I, I don't know what they're basing all of those numbers on. I really don't. We know that they're estimates, right? So they could be wrong. Keep that in mind. It's delayed also. It's not real time. If you're using actual short shares reported, we know that those get reported twice a month. So that is definitely going to be late. I would not base it on that. And, uh, eh. I, I don't know, guys. It, it's a decent strategy to think that you, you know that's the that's the way down. And, and for some reason or another, everybody wants to sell on the way down instead of on the way up. Nobody's going to be able to time the peak perfectly to begin with. So don't kick yourself if you don't time it perfectly and you still walk away with obscene amounts of money, but you you missed out on a, a couple dollars here. You missed out on a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars there. It's not going to be the end of the world as long as you're okay when you click sell, then you're going to be okay regardless of the price fluctuations following the moment that you click sell. So let's talk about why in general that's not necessarily a good idea. Even if you had all of the information and it was 100% accurate and 100% up to date, why would it not be a great idea to sell when you know that all of the short shares have been covered. Yeah, I know if you if you hang out in the live streams at all, you've already heard the answer to that, but it's simple. We're here for the short squeeze, and if the short squeeze is over, if all of the hedge funds have covered all of their short shares, who's going to buy your share? Who's Who's going to buy your share at these absurdly high prices? I mean, you know, you can guess all day long on how high AMC is going to go, and let's say it peaks it's $1,300, right? A retail investor is going to be jumping on and buying your stock at $1,300? Maybe a couple, but the hedge funds certainly won't. They're not going to buy AMC the moment they get rid of their last short share. They will not be buying AMC any more than they have to. We know for a fact they want it to go down. We know for a fact they want to short the stock, so they will not be buying. So in principle, in general, it's not even that great of an idea to buy or to sell your to sell your stocks after all of the short shares have been covered. So what's an alternative? What are some things that you can look for? You know, should you have a price target in mind? If you do, perfect. Guys, I don't have a problem with you selling whenever you reach life-changing money. That's what this entire movement is about. 
This entire movement isn't about until you holding out, until I reach life-changing money, you sacrificing what could be life-changing for you, and waiting for what could be life-changing for me. This movement is about charging the hedge funds and taking the money from them for shorting AMC stock. They have provided us with an excellent opportunity. They have written blank checks for every single one of us that are holding AMC stock right now. And what's life-changing for me is not life-changing for you and vice versa. So if you have that price target in mind, I cannot tell you not to do it. I think that that is excellent. I think that is amazing. I think that is beautiful that you were able to make so much money on AMC that you you reached that level of life-changing money. Now, if you don't have a price target in mind, what are some things that you can look for in real time? Because I'll tell you right now, guys, nobody can call the peak. Nobody is going to say it's going to this price and this price only. So what do you look for? Volume is going to be an excellent indicator. Now, what are you looking for in volume? The best you're going to get is this could be happening. Because we're not going to know for sure real time where those shares are going. Who's buying, who's selling, and where those shares are going. We won't know. So let's say, and volume has been very high lately. I think a lot of people are drawn to the volatility in AMC. A lot of day traders, a lot of brand new retail investors, a lot of FOMO buyers are drawn to AMC right now. So volume is inflated. We're seeing 100 million, 200 million, 300 million shares traded per day and it's big. Now we know that the short shares outstanding are around 100 million shares. So any day that you see over 100 million shares being traded, a couple things could be happening. One, hedge funds could be covering. Two, the FOMO buyers could be jumping in. Three, it could be back and forth, high frequency trading or, or day traders jumping in there and running up the volume, just taking advantage of the volatility. So these are the three things you need to keep in mind. Now, if we see... This isn't going to be the holy grail of things to look for either. But if we see a very large increase in price, if everybody's thinking that the short squeeze is on, it is here, we're seeing price pops like crazy, and then you see the volume dip. We might have had FOMO buyers jump on, we might have had day traders and retail investors jump on, and we might have had hedge funds covering, and then we start to fall back down and volume dips. That is definitely a sign that the hedge funds could have covered or they at least could have covered enough that they no longer have to worry about the margin calls taking place. So hopefully that sheds a little bit of light on some stuff that you can look for. And please, guys, do not wait until the price drops all the way back down to $10 a share, $5 a share before you sell AMC stock. Take advantage of the squeeze. So simply enough, if you are going and you plan on taking advantage of the squeeze, let us know down in the comments below that you will take advantage of the squeeze and you are still holding AMC. Now, if the subscribe button right here is still red, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. There's a link for Weeble. There's a link for Claybro.com. There's a link for my Twitter. There's a link for almost anything in the description. So make sure to check all of those out. They're all important. If you haven't clicked on one of them yet, make sure to click on it. Uh, you can also join the channel now, so check that out as well. And uh, yeah, until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.